Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. Um, we are pleased and honored to be joined by Brianna Venosi, who is the anchor of NJ Spotlight News. Um, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing well, Steve. You got the name right, so we're on a good start here. How are you? Are you implying that some people get Italian last names incorrect? Is that right? <laughs> Never. Oh, Not in New Jersey. Anyway. We're <laughs> oh, yeah. safe here. Yeah, we are. And by the way, uh, put things in perspective. Brianna, um, a group of us uh, led by uh, Neil Shapiro and John Servideo and Bob Feinberg and others um, in 2011 were involved in the creation of NJ TV, NJ TV News, um, such an important media platform for so long. This transition, this collaboration, this partnership between NJ TV News and NJ Spotlight, describe it, not just the rebrand, but the difference it makes in the news you and your colleagues present every night. Yeah, and that's, that's actually what I was referencing there. We've obviously rebranded. Uh, we are NJ Spotlight News. We're doing something, Steve, that I think a lot of media outlets have been talking about for the last decade, but haven't actually figured out how to do, which is how do you combine digital, multi-platform journalism with broadcast news? So we have joined forces, finally, of, of all times during a global pandemic when everyone's working remotely. But hey, that's what reporters do, right? We adapt. And we are now bringing uh, the people of New Jersey news via every platform you can think of uh, all 24 uh, hours a day, essentially. This is something that I think uh, there was no better time, really, when you think about the need for it, the need for information during everything that's happening so that folks can make informed decisions. Now we have more reporters, more digital options, uh, more hands and feet on the ground than we ever had before. You know, public television, it's a mission, right? And it Absolutely. is part of our charter to serve the community. That's, I think, how we all see it. And so this merger couldn't have happened at a better time in some ways because we're all here, because we're driven to help and to serve and to provide the community with that. And uh, somehow, Despite everything, I think it's been absolutely our most shining moment to bring all of the talent together. Yeah, and let me do this. Uh, let me plug NJ Spotlight News. And I apologize for thinking that the pronunciation issue was about <laughs> Italian last names. That's normal, though. Yeah, yeah, well, that's where my head's at sometimes. <laughs> but that being said, NJ Spotlight News, 6 p.m., 7.30 p.m., 11 p.m. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Uh, and, and that can be a little tricky for folks, I think, for a Why long time. Yeah, for, from the days of when New Jersey Network was the, the anchor television, public television station in New Jersey for decades and decades, I think it was confusing for folks um, that we, we only cover New Jersey. You know, a, folks want that. We hear it from viewers all the time. We've been able to capture a lot more of an audience during this time because people want specifically New Jersey news. Uh, but I think uh, for many, many decades, there was this um, confusion about where to turn because we are a different channel on different broadcast uh, platforms. So now we have, um, we're really solidifying ourselves both in the, the digital internet market um, and on broadcast. Um, and I think that this is really the start of a whole new beginning. You know, Brianna, um, we've known each other for a long time. And, you know, it's so interesting when, when you've been in this business for a while, not you've been in it for a few years and done great things, but veterans like myself, um, our colleague, Michael Aaron, who has contributed so much to public broadcasting in this state, in this nation, when we see um, younger people like you, who I remember when you were getting into the business, I remember when you were trying to figure out what you wanted to do and who you wanted to be and the contribution you wanted to make. And we had so many conversations to see you back on September the 9th, I believe, be announced as the anchor. What I'm curious about is that journey was a long and arduous one. What did it mean to you, particularly replacing an icon, a giant in our business, Mary Alice Williams? What did it mean to you personally, not just professionally? 
Yeah, those are some shoes to fill, right? I recall sitting with you, Steve, back in Montclair uh, at a restaurant. The office. office. Restaurant. <laughs> yeah, talking about my future. And yeah. for me, I think it was one of those things that I always felt in my bones, but um, I wasn't quite sure when or how it would come to fruition, but I just felt it. Even times when I felt pulled to leave New Jersey, maybe leave um, news and go in a different uh, area of production, I couldn't. I mean, you, a colleague once said to me, you, you either are this thing or you're not. And, and I what is this thing, Brianna? Am. Brianna, what is the thing? I just, it's my oxygen. News, delivering folks important, vital information, um, this entire journey has been so poignant in a lot of ways because, you know, I stepped in in March when we went remote and um, spent nights, months on the phone with viewers on Facebook with, with uh, you know, our audience as they were sobbing, crying because maybe they had family members in a nursing home, in jail. They couldn't go visit them. They didn't know what was happening. How do I get information? Where do I get a test? What do I do? I'm siphoning gas from my tractor so that I can put it in my car to drive to work because I can't get through to unemployment. And in that moment, I realized, you know, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. There's nothing else in the world I can imagine doing. And so that moment in September, um, to be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't think it would feel completely different because I have been doing this now for months and I've been filling in for Mary Alice for years. It felt entirely different. Um, I just feel really proud of our team. They do so much work. We are so small but mighty. We, we um, somehow managed to pull off productions that I think major networks wouldn't even tackle with the amount of folks the size that we have. And um, it is a real feeling of pride. My family, I'm born and raised in New Jersey, went to college in New Jersey. My family's rooted here. My husband's family is rooted here. So I uh, feel so, so proud to be able to sit here every night and represent uh, New Jersey for all of us. One more quick question about uh, the role of the media. We're taping this program on the 22nd of October. Um, people who watch us know that we don't try to be timely. We, we refer people over to NJ Spotlight News, to Metro Focus for a whole range of things going on on a day-to-day -day basis, policy, political questions, economic uh, issues, the environment, et cetera. But on a personal and professional level, when people, Forget about the presidential election. It'll turn out the way it turns out. The term fake news, your reaction? It's tough. Uh, sometimes I joke that we have the most hated job in, the Amer in America or the most loved job in America. Wouldn't you agree? Um, we spend painstaking hours fact-checking, going through stories, vetting sources, and I think that when you are um, a savvy consumer and when you watch shows like yours or like NJ Spotlight News, I think you know what you're getting. Um, but this is a time when public television stations and commercial uh, and online entities alike are being decimated. I mean, local news is taking a huge hit right now. And this is when you need it. You need to know what your town council is uh, getting as far as federal dollars, state dollars, county dollars to help you and your family in your, in your plight or, or whatever you're tackling right now. So um, I've watched the landscape change a lot in the last 13 years or so, um, not the least of which because when I started in, in 2008, you know, we were still using faxes, which doesn't sound, you know, for folks who've been in it, you probably laugh, but I think the, the speed with which technology has changed in the last decade blows, blows everything out of the water. And so the need to be fast and accurate, um, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of uh, pressure and work, but our team, your team, you know, you rise to the occasion and um, it's remembering and going back in your mind that it's about the accuracy. So even though everything around us seems to be changing so quickly, and it is, our job is still the same. We're still journalists. We still go back to the same mantra, to the same standards that we were taught 
that we preach, you know, to students now. And um, I think when you stick to those basics, uh, you, you have yourself on good footing. Every night, Brianna Venosi and a terrific team at NJ Spotlight News at 6 p.m., 7.30 p.m., 11 p.m. Check them out. Check Brianna out. Brianna, um, <clears throat> I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. And public broadcasting, the PBS system overall, and in particular, NJ TV and the team at Spotlight uh, News, we're uh, fortunate to have you um, out front leading the charge. Thank you, Brianna. Best to you and your family. Thank you, my friend. See you soon. You got it. I'm Steve Adubato. We'll be right back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by Delta Dental of New Jersey, NJM Insurance Group, TD Bank, United Airlines, PSE&G, St. Joseph's Health, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and by Caldwell University. Promotional support provided by NJ.com and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. NJM Insurance Company has been serving New Jersey policyholders for more than 100 years. But just who are NJM's policyholders? They're the men and women who teach our children, the public sector employees who maintain our infrastructure, the workers who craft our manufactured goods, and New Jersey's next generation of leaders, the people who make our state a great place to call home. NJM, we've got New Jersey covered.